Yo, what's poppin' folks? Welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna be doing a $100 Walmart fishing challenge. We're gonna buy a rod, we're gonna buy a reel, we're gonna buy bait, we're gonna buy just about everything. A lot of people have been asking for this for a long time, and I just haven't had a chance to do it because I wanted to do it with my boy. Ayo! Fishing with Norm, baby. What's so, going on, uh, people? We're gonna be trying to catch some big fish today. It's gonna be a fun thing. This is the problem, Norm. So it's a $100 challenge, and I'm probably only gonna buy one rod and one reel. Yeah. We'll probably take turns. You, you wanna do that, is that cool? I mean, so I get $100 to spend. No, 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 no. I don't know about that one, Norm. I don't know. You're pushing it a little too much. <laughs> but if you guys want to check out Norm's channel, please do so in the comment section below. We're about, to, we're about to start doing a lot more collabs. We haven't seen each other in like a month, it feels like. Maybe over, it was a little bit. Dude, is it, it's, has it been over? It's been a while. Yeah. It's probably, it's probably been almost two months. So I don't know. We're kind of both getting caught up on everything. I just started back in school, so I've been kind of doing that. And uh, now we're finally back at it. Gonna be filming some bangers today. We're gonna film a couple oh. for my channel, a couple for his channel, so stay tuned for those. But anyways, without further ado, if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button, freaking smash that thing, hit the like button. <laughs> and also hit the notification bell. And if you guys can, leave some video suggestions down in the comment section below. And I'll do them before and, Noah does. Yeah, that's, that's true. I know Norm's <laughs> talking on videos, but that's okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. If you guys want to see like specific videos with me and this guy, let's not get hit by a car. Yeah. Um, leave them down below, and next time we collab, we'll definitely have to do them, right? Correct. Alright, Norm, just made it in the fishing section. So I want your help. So okay. we're picking out a rod and reel. I think that's going to be our first thing, just because it's so pricey. If we have to go over the price, I'm fine. Like, if we have to buy, like... $100 <laughs> I really don't care nor we just going all out on this guys, one, guys we need comments down below Noah has a tackle addiction it has gotten to the point no, where it's I past, don't. it is past a <laughs> hobby at this point it is an addiction it is a problem he needs help everybody comment down below save Noah down below <laughs> save <laughs> Noah this man buys so much tackle dude he does not you do not Norm, need any more you do you, you know like like hoarders when they hoard stuff that is your truck with fishing lures. Yeah, my, my truck's pretty bad, guys. If Instead you, of buying $100, dude, you should be getting rid of $100 worth of fishing dude, stuff. that's such a good idea. Getting rid of $100 fishing <laughs> couch. Well, literally, it needs to happen. But you haven't even, the sad part, Norm, you haven't seen my tackle yet. I like, saw your video in your garage, and I was like, oh my gosh, dude. Like, it's bad. It's bad. Yeah, like, it's bad. Yeah, bad, you bad, have bad, too bad. much tackle. Like, people think they've seen my tackle, and they're like, no, you got so much tackle. I'm like, dude. This is, I'm, I hate to say it, but like all the tackle that people have seen in my videos this far, if I had to guess the percentage, maybe 5%. If we're, not like I'm, I'm being serious, so that's the bad part. Like I'm not being sarcastic. Maybe when I go to Atlanta, we'll, uh, dude, I had something on my screen. I thought it was on my face. I was like, what's going on here? Look at these, Norm. <laughs> what, what do you think about that? The lightsabers. The lightsaber sticks? But honestly, it's like a new lose uh, rod, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't think that's a smash. The, the knockoff. This is uh, that's honestly pretty pitiful. To be fair, I don't. I don't know about that. I really don't know. I mean, maybe that's a challenge, bro. Maybe, maybe that's. Maybe I buy you a combo too, Norm. Oh, you are so kind. Maybe you know I can spend a bunch of money on you <laughs> and a solid ten dollars on a highlighter rod. So what are you looking at, Norm? What, you, what like catches your eye out of everything here? What's like something that's just like, wow, that's pretty cool. But it has to be like good quality too. I'm not gonna buy like a little push button for this challenge. Dude, not gonna lie, my Walmart has a ton of really good fishing gear. This place is uh, it's pretty bad. A little lackluster. It's not the the lures aren't that bad. Like when you look at it, you're like, wow, they got a lot of stuff. But then you realize like yeah. half of it's saltwater stuff. So then it kind of because look at this. This is all saltwater stuff. Oh, so this is that's the bass all salt. fishing section, basically. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because we're right we're, next to uh, we're right next to the coast, so that yeah, makes sense. So. I guess. See, that's the thing. Okay. Literally, from here all the way over is all saltwater stuff. That you know, that's freshwater oh, stuff. But second. look at this freaking frog in this frog kit. You see that dude? Ooh, that's a weird looking guy, ain't yeah. it? Little uh, little white and black stripe action going I, on. I like oh that yeah. A little bit. <laughs> all right. Oh, there's a monster. Oh, that's yours. Oh, my bad. <laughs> the old white monster. Bringing it back. Throwing it back to 2014. Uh, well, this is the only good looking combo in here, and I do not think it's a bass fishing combo. Uh, yes, it is. What are you saying? Or is that not? Is no, it? no, no. It's an inshore combo. Yeah, but I'm that's, sure it'll slay the bass. That. And you can go saltwater fishing with it too. Well, the real question is: Is it twenty dollars? What? The, no. 
Uh, How much is yeah, it? Negative. It is negative. Ghost right? How much is it? Eighty dollars. Eighty bucks. Okay. Yep. But that's fine. Like I'm, I'm looking to spend a lot of money on this challenge. I don't know why, <laughs> but I am. I, I've got all new combos. But look, look I haven't used a spinning rod in a while, so this is actually kind of cool. I was gonna use a bait caster, but yep. they just don't like. Let's I don't just be honest. They have, do they have any bait casters in here? Dude, there's nothing. Like if we if we compare anything, this can't be. What it, is bro. what is this in in particular? The Xfinity inshore by lose spinning combo I, I really like that color not gonna Actually, lie it's really kind of cool. clean though it's kind of clean I man like i kind of like it it's pretty sexy what? rather than that norm what other one can even compete with that like let's uh, just be honest no zero <laughs> like you got all the push buttons you got some big salt water spinning combos you have yeah not that um <laughs> you, I, I, there's seriously nothing bro and i would give this one like it doesn't look that bad when you're looking at it but when you see something with the tackle kit already strapped on the rod it's i'm just saying man you know what i'm saying and then we got this one which is kind of similar but i don't feel like rocking the pink today man people would be looking at me a little weird right i think we got the best option in here, dude. <laughs> it's I mean, definitely the best option i mean it would have been nice to have a baitcaster but as far as spinning combos go, I actually really like this. So I think there is one bait caster, but the problem is what rod are we gonna put it on? Cause they don't really have rods. Oh, so they just have reels. See, this is what I was hoping. We would come over to like this section and we'd find a lot of bait casters, but oh, there is one right here. That's 30 bucks. See, that would work if we had a legit rod, but I just. These are all spinning rods, I'm pretty sure. And then this one right here, this is actually a Pro Max. Is that on sale? <sighs> Hold up. It is on sale. Was well, sixty nine eighty four now it's sixty nine dollars. Save eighty four cents. Oh baby. my gosh, no way! So that's eighty dollars. <laughs> Ching it on the screen right now. That is what we're rolling with. Now we have to get baits. So we got about eh, twenty dollars left, give or take. Should we count line on the twenty dollars? Yes. All right. Ooh. All right. Well, let's get line first, so we know exactly. I'm gonna let you do the honors, Norman. <laughs> You're, you always do the honors in my videos when I collab with you, so. What do you think, 80 pound braid? Is that gonna work? Yeah, 80 pounds definitely perfect for those, uh, <laughs> you know, sharks that we're fishing for today. This lens I Berkeley Vanish, 14, yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't wanna go that high, man. I'm either thinking 12 or 12 or 10. I'd, I'd, ideally, I'd have winning combo, so. Let's do 10. I usually do braid the fluoro leader, but I'm not wasting. That's $12, though. We got $8 left. And $8 got... for lures? Do we need backing for the spinning combo? That's not gonna happen. Like, I would love to have backing, but it's just not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. Like, uh, like, like if we get that, that's what, $12? So that adds, so we have $8 left. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can't even get backing, dude. So, yeah, if the combo is a little bit cheaper, we could, but I don't know, I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Let's just do, so that's 10 pound vanish. 10 pound fluorocarbon. Cool. So this is the thing, Norm. How are we gonna buy chatter donkeys with eight dollars, man? First of all, I am not throwing a chatter donkey on ten pound line <laughs> on a spinning combo. That's not happening because I already know what's gonna happen if I throw the chatter donkey. Throwing a frog. Definitely on a, a frog, combo Norm. Let's pounds. see all the frogs down here. Um, we're definitely gonna be going with a slow moving bait. That that's probably what's gonna end up working on that. If we, yeah, I ideally want to buy like two lures. I wouldn't okay. want to just use the same one. Can we even make it happen? Is a question. Or can we go a little bit? Up? Wait, Dude, do, do we're, we're already spending a hundred dollars. We might as well go over. You can't cheat. No, but I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, but if we have to get, oh, right, mm -hmm. hold on. <laughs> Matter of fact, let's not cheat. Let's, let's not get cheat. eight dollars worth of baits, but the hooks don't count. That's still cheating. Yeah, that is still cheating. Just, we'll just run it. And whatever floats your boat. So, Norm, when it comes down to it, let's be realistic on baits that would go on a spinning combo since we're kind of doing that now. Okay. So, like, let's layer down the options. What do we really have? We got... <laughs> we got about a... Sorry. <laughs> so, I, I'd say, like, a Senko-style bait, okay? Okay. Fluke, definitely. Yep. That that can happen. That's probably gonna have to happen. And then like you know any other, it, no, honestly stop, any. Stop yourself right here, Noah. <laughs> what? What's wrong? What's wrong with it? We have a hundred dollars to spend. Okay. I know. If we give you fifty dollars, it's not enough. You gotta spend. We have eight dollars. If we give you a hundred dollars, you gotta spend a hundred and ten. There's somebody has to tell you no. I know. I know. We, I know. Need to, we have a hundred dollar right. budget. A hundred dollar budget, Noah. And we have eight dollars to spend on lures. So For you're looking it. at two like max here. Two lures max. All right, two lures max. Let's just go with the green pumpkin. Like, what? Can, can you yeah. go wrong with the green pumpkin? You cannot. You cannot go wrong. So, before we even get this started, let's get some like. Do we need hooks? We need hooks. Should, but let me ask you this. Actually, are we gonna go with fluke? I think we're going with fluke, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So that's two right there. So that's three dollars plus two dollars and can we? Just, 
You can't just grab a color without letting me look. Oh, okay. Sorry, Norm. That's not my bad. <laughs> um, you know, this color honestly is pretty dope. That's not a, not a fluke, Holmes. But I'm just saying, smoking shad color. Smoking shad. I like it. What about this? The golden? That is no. No, Norm. That's, what do you mean no, that's, dude? That's dope. That's out of order, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's dope. So this, let's Wait, let's on, really think about this now. This time of year, fish are, fish are chasing bait. They're yes. pushing the bait up shallow. They're eating a lot. I think the most realistic one would probably be the white. Well, don't, don't you agree? Well, yeah, out of our options, I agree. <laughs> The red hooks? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm too picky right now, I'm too picky. The red picky. hooks are probably better than silver uh, hooks anyways. Okay, I mean, you wanna go with that? That's yeah. fine, man. Then wire ones? What, do you have something against red hooks? I, I'm sorry, man, I was just uh, What are you doing? I, I don't know, Norm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that it? So we got the two Hold baits. On. I like red hooks, man. Do not diss the red yeah. hooks. Am I offending you? I'm You're probably offending a lot of people in the comments section below. Yeah, exactly, below. red hooks work, all right? All right, cool. We got our 10 pound. <laughs> I ate a little bit of popcorn this morning. Uh, we, got, we got 10 pound line. We got our uh, our lose inshore spinning combo. So this goes on here, and then this goes on the end of that, and then the baits go on this thing, and then we work it. All right, Norm, let's go check out over here. I think me and Norm are professionals at this, so he kind of guided me in the right direction, because I'm i going to be honest, if I was doing this alone, I probably wanted to hit it. Listen to this, before tax, we're not counting tax, tax stupid, man. Leave your, leave your suggestions down below. Think about what we got. You guys aren't gonna believe it. Ninety-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. Dude, that's pretty doggone. Dude, perfect. that that is like, that's impressive. I know, that's right? Seriously impressive. So, we're gonna get out to the pond now. We're gonna try to catch some fish. We gotta rig this thing up. We gotta spool it. Gotta do that whole deal. So let's go ahead. I'll catch you guys on the road. Um, Norm, explain our problems. That <laughs> I just want to go put this in the truck. Oh, you know when we walked out, it did kind of do like a little weird noise. I thought that was like an announcement noise. Like Got it too, to yeah. <laughs> but apparently we walked out with the tag on the thing, so there's no way you can... And if this comes off, I'm pretty sure it shoots like ink everywhere. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back in. <laughs> yeah. Dang it, Norm. It's every time. All right, Norm. Oh! Oh, scare me. <laughs> so it's spooky season, baby. Spooky season, boys. All right, so we already spooled that up. I didn't want to film that process because it's just annoying. Um, I don't know what Walmart really did here, but that sucker is on there. And I was just talking to Norm. I was like, "Bro, do you have a knife?" And he said, "No, I do not have a knife." And now um, we're kind of in a in a bundle right here. I'm gonna try to get that off before we go out there. I gotta get that bottom piece off. They put like a bunch of weird tape. But other than that, this combo is looking pretty saucy. When you say so, Norm. Saucy. Saucy boys. So I'm uh, gonna put on the old EWG hook. Norm's doing the honors. Uh, should I let Norm tie my hook? Yeah, I was just about to Norm, say. Norm, let, let me tie this hook. I I, say, I'm just. If, if this snaps, you're gonna Norm, completely. Norm, no, no. Yeah, I'm gonna let you tie just, it because yeah, I'm gonna let you snap your own stuff, and then see, you can't blame when, me. See, when I trade it, you're gonna have to retie. So then none of us can blame each other. See what I did there. So Norm just casted the Sanko. That's what he's using. He's using his own little fancy uh, loose spinning combo right here. Yeah, right. I'm gonna be using the Walmart one. I We were just talking about it. I bought a bougie rod and reel, bro. <laughs> yeah, like a spinning combo for 80 bucks. I wasn't really thinking about it when I bought it. This thing's freaking sweet. Like you're actually gonna see this in the videos a lot now. You guys never get to see spinning combos. Ignore this stuff, guys. I literally can't get it off with pliers. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get started. This is the Fluke. I got it tied on with that red um bedazzly hook and i think we might end up catching a slaunch donkey norm slaunch donkey, slaunch donkey. and uh we got the scale it's been a little iffy but uh we're gonna try to work with it let's go ahead and get this thing started all right boys we are ready to rock and roll let's get the first cast on this okay Ooh, saucy i think i want to work it more like a ooh. cast it on the grass line i really do have a feeling one of us are gonna end up just just mega just yeah, they took the fence down because they're doing construction out there right now. They're like part of the Dude, what? That was honestly so cool. He destroyed dude, I've never caught one that ooh. Look at his side, bro. It's almost like a fish tried to eat him. Watch this. I've never seen one this small in here, to be honest with you. But then again, I never throw small fish baits. Dude, I jacked him too. What the heck? I barely even gave it to you, man. I barely even let him have it. Look on the other side of him. 
Oh my god, dude, this is like a big gash. What is that? Oh, god. dude, I cannot do anything right now. What is that, dude? Well, we need to go to the dark. Well, we got our first fish, and you know what I always say? Just because he's not big on the first one doesn't mean nothing. Just gotta get the monkey off the back. Get us started, buddy. I'm gonna give you a little toss of root because I don't want you in this grass. There he goes. That was a cool little catch, though. He hammered it. Uh oh. I think it's time for a shout out. I just got um, someone bought some clothing. Shout out to Casey for just ordering some clothing. If you guys want to check out the merch, I'll leave the link down below. It really helps support me when we go on collab trips like we're doing today. And uh, me and Norm spend a lot of gas money. So it's that's that's literally what my merch goes to. I, I don't make min much money off of that stuff at all because if you guys were wondering, I've been wanting to say this, I don't print i don't have a warehouse i don't deliver this stuff i actually have a company doing it for me so i literally make almost nothing on there but the money that i do make goes towards gas money so i can see this uh loser over here so catch five inch bass on a senko but shout out to casey if you guys want to check out the merch i'll leave the link down below what in the heck maybe i need to work it at the top and get him a little aggressive Oh, wake behind me, wake behind me. He's got me. Oh, biggin, biggin. Dude, Norm, I got a giant, bro. I mean a giant. Oh, dude, he got it. He's barely hooked. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Oh gosh, dude, this is a giant. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Dude, that is almost a four pounder, dude. On the fluke. Oh man, that is a big one, dude. Look how green he is for being in that grass. That, that might be a four pounder. That's a freaking big one. So our scale's been a little iffy. God, look at that fish, guys. Big head on him. He's actually pretty fat too. Come on, scale, work for me for once. Just, just be nice to Noah. Dude, are you kidding me? Maybe we should have spent some of the money for the $100 challenge on a new scale. Oh, he's not on. Nice, love it. Gotta freaking love it. Can I turn it on and get a negative weight? Or is it just not gonna happen? Whatever, man. Whatever. I'm done with that scale. The last couple of videos, that is almost a four pound fish. It's about three and three quarters right there. Freaking biggins, dog. I kept on talking about how they're chasing bait right there. And I threw in there and caught this almost four pounder. That's freaking awesome, dude. Freaking biggins on the Walmart special. On that old $80 lose combo. That felt good with a big one. All right, buddy. I'm going to give you a little nose pet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I like that aggressiveness there. Let's catch another big one. That's the ones that we want is the big bass like that. I saw his huge freaking wake right behind that. <laughs> that was so good. I kept seeing him chasing bait up here. That's why I told Norm I was going to come back over here. And uh, finally got him to commit. Instead of throwing it out there and working it slow like I was talking about, I worked it a little more aggressive, and that's what allowed him to bite that right there. I'm actually still seeing some movement. We're going to keep casting right here. There might be a whole school of them there pushing shad up on this grass edge. So I'm saying they keep pushing bait. There's this heavy, heavy grass edge right here. What they're doing, these fish are pushing all the bait fish up to the grass because it's super thick. And they sit here, and they push them right to the top edge, and they sit there and feed on them. And that's exactly how I just caught that fish. And you can know, you can tell that the bigger ones are sitting here pushing up the bait. Um, it's about that time of year, you know, this fall pattern is starting to pick up. These fish are starting to push the bait up shallow. And this is a great example of it, of these fish pushing the bait up on the grass edge. Got him, guys. I don't think he's very big, but we got. Oh, that's a better one. That's a better one. Yay! Oh, that's a cold fish, dude. It's finally fall fishing. That's what I'm talking about right here. Oh, he swallowed that Cinco, too. Oh, get that, out. get that out your mouth. What are you doing, guy? Oh, <laughs> dude, that's a fatty. Look at his belly. It's a big, thick boy right there. I don't know, dude. I give that thing two and a half all day. It's a solid fish. Well, folks, here our fish goes. Thank you for the fight. Ugh. Chunky guy. Oh, chunky boy. Who's a chunky boy?
not gonna lie, I'm kind of getting addicted to this fluke bite right now. There he is. Dude, not a bad one, bro. That was so awkward. Mm. Let's go. Dude, look how dark these fish are in this grass. Dude, his teeth are so sharp from eating fish. He's literally digging into my hand. He's been eating a ton of bait. This fluke is honestly perfect for today, guys. You have overcast conditions, as you guys can tell. Sun's not really even peeking through. And uh, that is such a beautiful fish. Look at that thing. Just the colors on him. That's what happens when they live in that grass. They just get that, those nice little colors. And that is a fat, beautiful fish right there. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for biting, bud. Thank you for biting, Jimbo. Mm, let's go. So I was just saying they're chasing bait up on it. They keep ambushing. It's a little ambush point. Look at that. Gosh, let's get back in there. And they keep just chasing the bait up, and it's all about timing. And uh, he followed it in right there. I kind of saw him swirl behind it, and he ate that thing. I really... They are all in this corner chasing bait. And this fluke, literally there couldn't be a better bait to throw right now for how these fish are eating right here. Super shallow water. This fluke can go through it perfect. What they're doing is the bass are just pinning this bait right up in this corner. Like that. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. These fish are just pinning the bait fish in this corner. They're munching that fluke, it's so realistic. It's just the perfect bait. This is crazy, Norm. I mean, this is just unbelievable. Look at that. Not big, man, but they're aggressive. So aggressive, there's tackling that fluke. Look at that, beautiful colors on them. They're all healthy, I will say that. And when you're catching them like that, it really doesn't matter. You guys know I always search for the big bass. But if you're just catching them that good, does it really matter what you're catching? It's just a good, fun time. Keep chasing bait, right? This is insane. This is just insane. Norm has one too. Gosh, it looks like he's got a good one. How big was that? Oh my God, Norm just lost a giant. I mean a giant on the top water. Like big, big, gosh. Nice. There he is. Nah. Now I'm done with all you say.